And welcome back, guys, to another episode of Catalyst Shoujo. In the last part, we talked about feminist conspiracy for way too long in the bathroom naked with Kenji. That's a sentence that I just said. But anyway, it seems that Lily has come in early morning just like we have, and we have been interrupted by Shizune and Misha. Or, specifically, Misha being incredibly loud. So let's continue on. Misha pops into the room with Shizune as if on cue, shouting with a loudness that makes Lily visibly flinch. Hi, Jan. Hi. Look, it's the class representative. Hello. Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha's or Shizune's use of the word look. Good morning. Of course, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right? I'm not. Lily seems a little more guarded in her answers to Shizune than she was with me the other day. I guess they really don't get along at all. And I realize that Lily might actually not know Shizune is present, and she's trying to detect whether or not she is, to know who she is talking to. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha, but knowing that she and Shizune are practically inseparable, she might expect Shizune being the one that actually talks. Damn, how complicated. I decided to help Lily out for my own peace of mind more than anything else. You're here early, Shizune. You were here even earlier than us. Misha puffs out her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? Does she feel emotions on Shizune's behalf too? It's not that weird though, that Shizune didn't like my little comment. It's true, I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that could definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Especially to, Shizune, eh, especially to Shizune, who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to gauge intent. Before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Suzune has already moved on. Class rep, it's good thing you're here. We have to talk. The festival is coming up in three days, right? Every other class has already handed in their projected budget reports for their events, even the first years, except you. <laughs> there is still time to hand it in, isn't there? Today! The deadline is today! You're certainly taking your time, aren't you? If I had it my way, I'd have all the necessary paperwork days ago, but someone... I had to say, the deadline, please extend it! Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task, and I and a week is too small a time to frame to, ex uh, to expect a whole class to work out such a complex issue completely. Do you want to know what's harder than dis uh, distributing the funds for one class's events? Handling the same matters for every class in the school and then some. Then, uh, the one who does, it, does that is me. Misha puts her hand on her hips and stands up straight. Wow, she's really getting into the, whole, into the role. Lily doesn't look like she's very amused, though. Hey, Shizune, aren't you being a little too hard on her? There's still a whole day left. Please, Sasao, it's all right. Lily seems happy I'm taking her side, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she has to. Uh, that, that I might not think she can take care of herself. If this is about budget, <coughs> excuse me, then I am disappointed you think that I have forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. Then, can I have it, please? Shizune. Shizune, she might not have it on her at this exact second. It's not here right now. I have I asked two students to take care of it for me, students from my class. She emphasizes the last sentence, much to my surprise. She knows about Shizune and Misha's efforts to rope me into the student council? I guess word must have gotten around. So now she's using me as ammo against Shizune. This just, this gets better and better. It was your responsibility. A budget report isn't something you should just de delegate away. As class rep, it's your job to be on top of things. This kind of disregard for proper procedure is really just terrible. They completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to school and give it back to me. If you want, I will apologize on their behalf for getting sick. 
okay. Look <laughs> at Misha. <laughs> Although Misha missed, misses Lily's little jab entirely, Shizune doesn't. And she seems torn between being offended by Lily's daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Lily, don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know. What could they possibly have that prevents them from taking five minutes out of their busy lives to drop off something that will affect the enjoyment of their entire class? Lily opens her mouth to say something, but Shizune closes the gap between them and starts signing furiously, waving her hands around like an orchestra conductor. Misha tries her best to convey the same passion, but can't seem to lose her normal cheerful tone. The result is interesting and somewhat surreal. And that's, uh, and what's with that attitude? I said it, it's not something you should be delegated, delegating away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? Tell me the name of those two students. They should have your job if they can't even handle something this simple yourself. One form isn't the full extent of what I'm supposed to take care of. Lily's tone is growing slightly impatient, but she's doing a good job and not letting Shizune see how unsettled she is becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Jesus. <laughs> you know, like, I sort of had a little bit of respect for, for Shizune, but it's this seems a little overboard. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess maybe because her, her playful nature towards Hisao is a lot more is because she wants something from him so she's sort of being nicer and just sort of goofing around and playing whereas in here you can clearly see that she doesn't particularly like lily so much and she just wants to like push her down a peg maybe because she's probably better at stuff than she is or she's at least like a rival Shizune, on the other hand, wraps her fingers cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can neither hear nor see how excited she is. Jesus, yeah. The fact that she's sort of getting off on this is, is kind of weird. <laughs> of course, you do so much, class rep. It must be so difficult behind being you. Lily tightens her lips at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them, even though Misha delivered them without even a hint of the sarcasm which they were meant to have. Shizune and Lily don't like each other, that much is clear, but this seems a little much. It seems like Lily has had enough and is ready to push back. I was actually just discussing the budget report before you came here. Oh, Jesus. Now it's on, bitch. <laughs> Let's do this. Before you came by, you must be very talented to have finished all your student council duties so quickly that you can track me down to make sure I don't forget my own. Are you accusing me of slacking off? It seems like you're confusing me with yourself. I don't think so. That would be a very difficult thing for me to do, comparing myself to you. You're right. The difference between us is like heaven and hell. And it's not hard to guess which one you might represent. Oh, Jesus. The air between them ripples with the heat of their enmity. Well, not really. They can't disguise it anymore though. Even Misha looks like she's beginning to understand the real nature of this conversation. Uh, he chan don't slack off either. What are you talking about? Aren't you ta taking part in the festival, he chan You are, aren't you? Then I hope you're going to do a lot more than make sure it goes smoothly than this person. I don't know, so don't try. Hey, come on, cut, cut me and Lily some slack, or don't drag me into this, I've done my part. Technically, I really haven't. Like, I, I did, like, the whatever's going on between them is not really, like, my issue. It's actually very difficult, like, yeah, what would be the correct decision here? Well, like, the thing is, is if I, if I cut, if I say cut Lily some slack, then I'm sort of closing the door on going down Shizune's path, right? 
That's the only thing that I could think of. Like, yeah, if I start fighting back against them, they're just going to hate me, and then I'm going to be forced down a path. Whereas in this, is just sort of like, you don't drag me into this crap. Whatever. Uh, you know, I've done. I had. He has done some stuff to a point where he was. He was pretty much. You were. I was bullied into this. You know, like that's that's how we should look at it. If anything, right? You get bullied into this crap. It's not fair, in a sense. So yeah, don't drag me into this. I've done my part. Why am I being dragged into this again? I've done more than enough, I think. If you're angry with Lily, that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, like, I get that. Like, I feel kind of bad not, um, not sort of helping Lily out. Like, that's the only part of that particular uh, argument that I feel kind of shitty about is I didn't help, like, didn't say, you know, cut her some slack. Like, you're being unreasonable. It's the only thing I can think of that makes the decision wrong. If you're angry with Lily, that has nothing to do with me. Now, just wait a, just a second. Are you implying the president is more right in scolding me than yourself? Ah, oh, damn. I think I've worded that better. No, I don't know about that, but I mean... Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you saying, He-Chan? It's just that I hardly think it's fair you can say that, seeing that I've helped you guys. The mood has changed. This is like a showdown between two gunfighters now. Well, it was like that before, too, but this time Shizune's focus is on me. And so is Lily's. Though she keeps quiet, I'm afraid I inadvertently pissed her off. No, oh, Jesus. God damn it. I pissed both of them off. <laughs> oh, man. Are you saying I'm wrong? What a dangerous situation. It's too early to argue with you. Yes, I think it's unfair of you to get on my case. Ichan, you want too much, but you have a point. Okay, okay, okay. You're not lazy, Ichan. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> she really pushes her glasses up with her thumb, almost approvingly. That's good. If you're not useless, you, should, uh, you shouldn't let anyone say you are. But the next time I say it, it really it be because you are disappointing me like Miss Class Rep here. So don't let this go to your head. Oh. Okay, so never mind. I didn't fuck that up. Well, at least not on the Lily side. Not on the, not the Shizune Misha side. Lily takes the jab sli silently, a venomous... Vis visage frozen on her face. Class rep, Shi Chan says, don't forget the report, please. I won't. Would that be all? Yep. Then good day to you all. Her voice would cut the air of the classroom in, in, into half if it was more tangible. Lily leaves the room, understandably in a bad mood, but still manages as a po as po eh, and still managing to be as poised and calm as usual. Shizune, Shiz oh, right. <laughs> no, I'm not Misha. Shizune, you really did go a little too far today. It's true, she tend just a little. If I had been expecting Shizune to grudgingly admit I had a, have a point there, there as well, I think I was expecting too much. She doesn't respond. <laughs> she tend thinks you should mind your own business. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, mother. Okay, lady. You throw me under the bus, and you, then when I'm like, hey, I'm just doing, I did my part, I haven't been lazy, you know, and then you you think it's not cool to bring up your business? Hey, Jen, we have a few last minute things to take care of before class. We might be late, so can you please cover for us? Yeah. Perfect. Yay. Okay. Thanks, E. Jen. They walk outside, even though there's only 10 minutes left before the bell will ring, signaling the start of class. Anako doesn't come to the morning class at all, leaving her seat looking empty and lonely in the back of the classroom. I have to tell her that Lily was looking for her if I see her later. After the events of this morning, class is pretty boring in comparison. I turn the pages of my textbook lazily. We've been covering the same amount of pages every day, so reading ahead is more or less giving myself a preview of what tomorrow's lesson will be about. The clock at the front of the room sounds unbearably loud. The teacher hasn't said anything in over seven minutes, instead opting to cover the board in rows and rows of equations taken directly from the book. 
The rhythmic clashing of chalk on blackboard seems to synchronize perfectly with the ticking of the clock. I start to copy down the equations just to pass the time, not noticing Misha's head poking over my shoulder until she's almost on top of me. What are you doing? I try to strike a balance between being quiet enough to not draw attention to myself, but loud enough to draw hers. What are you doing, Yi Jen? I pan panic shoots through me as Misha starts talking in a normal volume, and I sputter out a hasty reply, still keeping my voice down despite the fact that she just blew any hopes of being discreet I may have had. I'm copying down my stuff. What are you doing? Why so loud? Aw, oh, really? But it's all in the book. That's why no one else is copying it down. I know. Why are you so loud? <laughs> why are you so quiet, he chan It's hard to hear. I'll look around to see if anyone is noticing our conversation, and it's pretty obvious that everyone has, even the teacher. Shizune smiles coyly, and I start to wonder if Misha is doing this because she told her to. Is it because of what happened between her and Lily earlier? This is what I get for trying to be reasonable, for trying to take the middle path. Shizune is way too prideful, although by now I should have to expect that kind of behavior from her. Why are you doing this? Huh? Misha is totally oblivious to the awkward stare the teacher is giving both of us, while trying to balance her textbook on one finger. For a brief second, it looks as if things could get ugly, but the teacher simply looks away as if not to, and it's not worth the trouble. I guess this is a good thing. I slump back in my seat in relief. The rest of the day passes, but uh, uneventfully, and this time I'm able to appreciate that it does. When the bell rings, I'm not in a hurry, so I stay for a while reviewing what we covered in class today. I prefer to leave last, uh, last anyway, so I don't have to deal with crowds in the hallway. I know Shizune and Misha have also stayed behind talking to someone about another class. She's only signing so fast that her hands make noises like swords cutting through the air. Misha is trying desperately to keep up, but it's clear that she can barely manage to even understand her. I put my head down. Whatever they're discussing, it looks like serious business, probably way out of my head. Not not just that, but Shizune also seems angry, although it could just be her normal severity making it appear so. Shizune signs to the point where her wrists crack and Misha struggles to spit out the words from word form. Uh, something has tripped. Uh, she's tripped over herself like she's dealing with tongue twisters. And then on top of that, she has to sign back anything the other girls say. Hmm, seems like a rough job. Misha looks tired like she's about to faint. Luckily for her, their business is soon finished, and the girls sit down on their seats again. Ugh, I'm so tired. She's hanging her head limply on her desk, looking exhausted. Festival preparations must be tough for you. Indeed, the people in this school seem to be taking the festival very seriously. Whether I see people idling around before and after class, they're always talking about their plans for it. It's kind of neat to see everyone being so enthusiastic about it. I'm probably the only one who doesn't have something to do. Shizune stares, starts signing at me and Misha perks up, looking at her hands with slightly unfocused eyes. She signs with harsh, heavy, dramatic strokes. Misha translates her signing into a speech for me. She does it so well, it's almost like Shizune is actually speaking, transmitting her thoughts directly through Misha. Well, we're the student council, you know. So we're pretty busy. Sarcasm? Huh? The tone of Shizune's actions make me think she is speaking with disdain, but Misha interprets it normally, replacing whatever intent may have been there with her own chipper twist on things. It's still disorientating. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Never mind. How could I forget? With you two trying to get me to join at least twice a day... <laughs> but Ichan, some, some could say the work is too much. It'd be nice if students were to show a little more support for their leadership. Some appreciation to the ones who are working so hard to make it possible. Maybe, for example, a little help. That's asking too much, is it? Yep, help would be appreciated from students like you. 
If students would show some dedication and school spirit and offer some help, well, I don't exactly need it. But I wouldn't necessarily refuse it, so it, sh it would be nice if someone would. Oh, hello. Huh? Oh, Hanako. I looked over my shoulder to see Hanako peering timidly into the classroom, most of her body hidden behind the door. Hey, playing delinquent again? Hanako blushes hard at Misha's straightforward jab, even if it was only in jest. Oh, She's definitely like... <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Why, why use the word delinquent? Like, that's the that's the thing. It's like, you don't know this person. I guess that's the whole point of it, though. It's like, they don't know her, so... Clearly, clearly, maybe she is just that. She just likes to go off and do delinquent things. Though she doesn't seem to be that type of person. He stares at her prongingly, causing Hanako to look down and stare back... Let's start backing away to the point where only her fingers can be seen wrapped nervously around the edge of the door. Maybe she is showing her dislike for Hanako by association of her dislike of Lily. It appears so, and Hanako probably knows it as well. They seem to have momentarily forgotten about trying to get me to stay in the stay for the rest of the day. What is it, Hanako? Uh, has Lily been here? Sorry, Satao is not here. Sorry, Satao's not here. She uh, came by in the morning, though. Hanako keeps looking uneasy at Shizune, who stares back at her with her usual studying gaze. What is she trying to do? Of course Shizune isn't going to look away, and she is intimidating enough as is, so I can only imagine how terrified Hanako would be. Is it really? It is, re it is a little funny though, watching Hanako's reaction to Shizune's normal behavior. This is what happens when two people of two different extremes meet, it seems. Do do you know where she is? If she was has any sense in her head, she's in her classroom, working on their festival project. But who knows where that woman is loitering at? <laughs> the fact that Misha used the word loitering is totally the fact that she's talking through Shizune. <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't seem like the person to use the word loiter. She might be slacking off somewhere. What a useless woman. Hanako nods quickly and retreats with haste, obviously to avoid any further contact with Shizune. Unfortunately, this turns their attention fully back to me. And we'll... we'll learn about that attention tomorrow. So take care guys, stay frosty, and may the rest of the day be a good one.